Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Fairy Tale Part 2 until we unlock the fairy rings. The quest requirement is Fairy Tale Part 1, and there are no stat requirements. And the only items that we will need is a Dremon Staff, and for the recommended items, one stamina potion and some weight reducing armor, because we just need to run around for about 5 to 7 minutes. For the teleports, none, maybe one after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is at the exact same spot where you've started Fairy Tales Part 1, which is in Drainer Market. Let's talk to Martin and select option 2. After this conversation is over, Martin will check all of his crops, and that will take 5 minutes. So keep yourself busy for the next 5 minutes, but do not pickpocket Martin, else the 5 minute timer will be changed into a 15 minute one. So just do anything else, maybe like pickpocket a master farmer, pickpocket some stalls, chop some use, do a farm run, or just simply log out for the next 5 minutes.
All right, cool. The five minutes are over. Let's talk to Martin and select option two. And then one. Right, next we will need to go to Xanaris. We will now need to go to Nuff's clinic, and if you remember from Fairy Tale 1, that is located just north of Xanaris Bank. All right, north of the Xenaris bank, let's enter this alcove and you will see a cutscene. After the cutscene is over, just east of you, there you'll find next to the potion shelves a healing certificate. Take it and then go south. On your way south, south of the bank there is a cooking range. We will need to go to that cooking range and on our way there, right click on Nuff Certificate and then Study. Next, here at the cooking range you will find Fairy Chef. Talk to her. Next, let's go east and let's go back where we have fought Tanglefoot during Fairy Tales Part 1. We basically need to go to the Cosmic Rune Crafting Mysterious Runes. Alright, once you've made it to the mysterious ruins, go south of it and there you'll find a couple of regular, regular trees. Between the most southern one, there you should find at the wall a rune temple sign. Read it, then close it, and now we'll need to go to the Godfather, who's located next to Sheldar the Comet 70 Slayer Master. Alright, once we've made it to Fairy Godfather, talk to him and select option 1 three times. Next, let's go north and let's go to the Fairy Ring, which is located just west of the wheat field.
At the transportation sign just west of the wheat field, there should find the fairy ring and fairy fix it. Talk to fairy fix it and select option 1. Since you have the permission from the godfather and you have let fairy fix it know that you have the permission, you are now able to use the fairy rings. Simply equip your dragon staff, right click on the fairy ring and configure and I will put a link in the description of this video to the wiki page that has all the fairy codes and all their locations. Now if you are doing this quest just for a hard clue and you need to go to the fairy queen, then you will need to use the code A. IR, then DLR, then DJQ, and then AJS with Nuff's certificate in your inventory, and then you will arrive at the current location of Fairy Queen so you can continue with your clue step. Alright, this was my quick guide how to unlock fairy rings by completing the first half of Fairy Tale Part 2. Hopefully, it has helped. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.